，临近午夜，当多数人已悄然入睡。冰盛的世界依旧活力四射，有一群人心怀热忱，日复一日，孜孜不倦地在冰上追逐着他们的梦想。To me, I saw kids that love my life. Although I started not long ago, I feel that it has become a very big part of my life, and I don't know what I'll be doing without I saw kids. Figure skating is who I am. I feel like it's my entire、um, personality, my entire character as well. Because figure skating to me is not only a sport; it's more of a lifestyle, where you know every all my daily activities are catered to figure skating. Uh, Usually, I train about four times a week. So Tuesday and Wednesday nights after school, around、um, 7:30 p.m. to 9:30 p.m. And on the weekends, it will be 5 to 7 a.m. So to me, I'm someone who likes to express my feelings through skating. Although it has been ten years, I think every up and down actually made me grow more in love with the sport. Because I've actually been in the sport through even the tough times like COVID. So there are times where you know waking up at 3:30 a.m. is not going to be always fun. It's going to be very tiring.、Um, falling on the ice like 20 to 30 times per session. It's not fun. It's painful. But I think this is where you have to tell yourself to be disciplined to stick to your training plan. Those are the times when my passion might not always be at its highest, but I do know that I still have to push through and continue training because it's what I need to do as an athlete. Our team trainings are usually held every Tuesday、uh, from 9:45 to 11:45, and our, our Friday trainings. It's from 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. I've been playing ice hockey for about two years. I really like the feeling of being able to amaze and wow the crowds whenever I am playing in tournaments. When whenever I am able to pull off stunts that can make the crowd go wow and feel very accomplished for myself, and I think that is the main reason as to why I like playing ice hockey. For my short-term goals, I would like to make it onto the men's national team and secure a spot on the roster for myself in the long run. JQ 将在八月七日正式结束营业。商场的业主凯德置地将把这个地段重新发展成四十楼高的住宅项目。这也意味着，位于御宾坊三楼的滑冰场同样将被拆除。对一般民众来说，滑冰场只是一个娱乐设施，但作为新加坡唯一符合奥林匹克标准的滑冰场，这里却是我国短道速滑。花样滑冰和冰上曲棍球国家运动员唯一的训练场，失去了训练的场地，我国的冰上运动员心里又有何感想 ？I was definitely very、um, shocked and sad because, you know, it felt like something so important to me was just taken away. I actually started skating back in 2013, which is、um, shortly after the ring opened in 2012, and then. Fast forward like ten years later, I'm still here, and I'm seeing the ring close. These ten years have been very, very memorable to me. 
Every successful landing of a jump, every fall of a jump has been made here. It's all my happy and sad moments here and I truly feel like the ring here is really special because it's basically like my second home. I sometimes spend more time at the ring than at home. I think I will be feeling quite, quite sad because I, I have only just started my national team career and I have a long way to go to improve before I can actually consider myself uh, good at the sport. With the closure of this ring, it will be quite detrimental to my training and my progress.尽管冰上运动在新加坡这个热带国家是相对小众的运动，但我国冰上运动员在近年来的东南亚运动会都交出了亮眼的成绩单。二零一七年吉隆坡和二零一九年马尼拉冬运会的女子花滑冠军都来